Welcome into the Lifetime Activity Center at Salt Lake Community College. Dusty Lister and Dane Stewart with you. Week two of the Utah Top 50, our first matchup of our triple header tonight, the Hawaii Volcanoes taking on the Fort Wayne Fury. Yeah, interesting matchup because typically volcanoes bring a lot of fury when they erupt. Mm. So we'll have to see if this is, you know, pre-eruption, post-eruption. We got 40 minutes of gameplay to figure that out. But, I, I, you know, all seriousness, it should be a really fun game. We had some guys that had uh, really impressive week ones. We're starting week two. Only five days of rest right. from a Thursday to a Tuesday. But uh, we're back at it for week number two and excited to get going. Yeah, we're looking at this Fort Wayne Fury team. Week one well, on Thursday was Simon Sua was their go-to guy is we're going to start first with that one off of Fury and it should be a Volcano Basketball and it is. No, they said off-white, go black. So, Zach Fisher from Davis High School on the floor along with Brogan Miles out of Maple Mountain. We mentioned Simon Sua out of Westlake as Miles sends it over to Sua. Corner three off the mark and the rebound to the Lightning. Isaiah Drisden, we talked about him in week one. Excited to see his further growth and development. You see him getting the ball up the floor quickly there. Rosevere couldn't hit the threes. Drisden in the lane, float it short, and the rebound to Sua. Sua sends to the corner. Miles goes baseline, finds the cutting Zach Fisher, fall away a little too strong. McConkey with the rebound. And McConkie will reverse and score. McConkie was a guy in week one who really impacted the game with his defense. Those long arms, love going inside to him, using that rim as an extra help there to help create that left-handed shot. And Drizdom on the drive blocked by his teammate in high school, McConkie, but the loose ball into the hands of Cale Barclay, and we're tied at two. And here's Isaiah. As soon as that went over, it was Isaiah Riser. Fisher try to go high low into McConkie. McConkie again, the mic and drill, and it's McConkie, the back to back buckets. Yeah, I love his attack mode here early on. He played a little, a little fast last week. Pretty good source there, but he just calms down the offensive come. It was a good halftime got or get that we were able to receive is that three is good, and that's five points for Kale Barkley. Yeah, nice start for the Harriman Mustang. Uh, has good length, showing he's got some extended range to his offensive game as well. I feel like McConkie's young man, that whenever we've seen him, probably we've seen more of his defensive input, and that's why I love seeing him contribute offensively here early on, because with his size, I think he can be a really tough matchup on both ends of the floor. And Sua gets the Kawhi Leonard bounce and, on that and one. And Sua's going to be in the running for most improved player based on what we saw in week sure. one, right? We saw Westlake last year, but man, he looks like he's really improved his offensive game and decision-making in the offseason. That ball goes off the leg of Brogan Miles, and the ball will go to the Volcanoes. You know what's great is that we're seeing this game that's really sped up. We have a shot clock in the state of Utah, which means they're not going to go <laughs> play for their high school coach to ask them to run in a minute and a half offense <clears throat> yeah. at every possession. Yeah. You, you know, it's unfortunate, though. They're going to get used to playing with this restricted area, and, of course, <laughs> we are not. We don't have that yet. But give it time. Give Dusty another four years of his, you know, political recourse, and yes. we'll, we'll get it figured out. Hey, we stick with it. As the three goes for Brogan Miles, it only took 16 years to be begging. <laughs> Brogan Miles had a big week one. He was probably the kid that was maybe the most impressive for me sure. in terms of coming in with second not half. much of knowing of his game. But, man, he, he was fantastic and a nice three there. John Rosevere misses on the three, and the ball will go back to the Fort Wayne Fury. We don't get to see it a lot of Maple Mountain. We don't. Years past, we did get to see quite a bit yeah. with uh, Jaron Hall and yep, yep. The, that crew and uh, Paulson. Mm -hmm. That kid could shoot. Went on to play baseball at UVU. As that ball goes out of bounds and back to the Volcanoes. Drisdom. Fall away in the key, a little too strong. Rebound to Fisher. That's a nice job by Miles defensively. It looked like Drisdom maybe had a step, but Miles was able to stay right with him and turn it into a really difficult shot. And Miles gets D on one end, hits the three on the other, and it's a 12 to five lead. Rosevere goes right to the rack. That makes it a five point game. Yeah, nice attack there. Broken was all over that pass as well, nearly had an opportunity for a steal. 
Isaiah Riser rolls home a triple. And it's now an eight-point advantage for the Fort Wayne Fury. You know, people were mar mar mocking before the game about another sport that uh, we were watching video of where there was a wall. But I'll tell you, the <laughs> basketball players tonight <laughs> scoring very well with a wall behind the rims. That's a little inside play. We'll just have to leave it at that. We'll just go watch uh, Scott Van Pelt. You know, yeah. it was a basketball facility too, mind you. Bad beats is the most publicity that the, your beloved Vandals have gotten since Ron Aiki. It was Rob Aiki, Rob number Aikie. one. Number two, that's a top five Still team. Still from Scott Van Pelt. That's Van a Pelt top five team. It. Yeah, it is. I'm just super excited for you. I really am. Dane just got back from his uh, Pilmigridge I'm, I'm, to I'm, Moscow. And I'm he not, got back here in time. I'm not going to lie. It's really weird to cheer for a team that wins. I, I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> Is that a jab? It felt like a no, jab. No, no, not at all. It, it, it's a it's a pure like acknowledgement that typically my teams are losers, mm. and um, they're, they're we have some confidence some confidence in one of my teams. That's oh, awesome. It, I forgot what that feels like. And on the transition, it is Malachi Spencer off the miss. Here comes Drisdom. Again, eight point advantage here for the Fury early on. Send it out for three. Isaiah Bay wide to the right. And the ball will go back to the Fury. Again, if you're just joining us, the first time watching Utah Top 50, all of our teams are named after old CBA and ABA teams. The Hawaii Volcanoes and the Fort Wayne Fury. I can't imagine why the CBA didn't work if you had a team on the island. That's a fair point. I'm shocked that the league wasn't solid at that point. <laughs> The problem is you probably didn't have passionate enough fan bases willing to make the trip. But if you're going to Hawaii, I don't know why you wouldn't have. Why right? wouldn't you? Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, I bet they played in Maui. It's Shamanad. Try to go up and under. Ends up turning that ball over. Here comes Zach Fisher. Fisher gives that one up on the wing. Can't get that one to go. And the rebound into the hands of Spencer. Been a little Mal helter skelter here these last couple of possessions. Malachi sent away by Owen Bowden. And we'll stay here. Now you're getting a little loose. Yeah. In game one of our triple header tonight. Spencer will pull for three. No. And the rebound taken by Bowden. Turns it over. And the three is there for Brogan Miles. Tell you, he might be he might be one of my favorite players this year. Right, I mean, there is a steal, quick three, drills it again. I think he's got nine points. Yeah, he's got all threes. He played some good defense. Have come yeah. back the other way, the take and make for Luke Lewinquist. Oh, man, out of Bountiful. The three doesn't fall for Sua. Got some handles here from Ike Palmer. Bay, I wonder if it's going to stay on the same side, and Bay gets it to go. And it's down to a seven-point advantage. Miles, he gives that one up and rotated up top to Fisher, but over to Sua. Simon goes inside, we're gonna have a foul on the entry. That was on Isaiah Bay. We don't keep track of fouls here. Make sure the kids play. It was a really nice job of working that ball around to get that entry into the paint for nice uh, Kranich. Yeah, Spencer Cranch, a new addition. Young man out of Mountain Ridge is on the drive and getting the bucket. His number 70, that's Ike Palmer, part of the Twin Towers at, uh, at Harriman. How yeah. is it that Doug Meacham always has two big guys on all his teams? Well, he's got three because you also have Malcolm, Malcolm Johnson. Oh, that's true, Not too. in the top 50. He's playing football. Did you catch that on Friday night? I did not catch that. Yeah, he's 6'7". Yeah. And they list him, They throw him out at wide receiver. Like, he's got some good range to As him, but multi-sport athlete there. Zach Fisher with the lay-in. Got it down to five, pushed it back up to a seven-point lead. You, I did you, not realize that. Yeah, yeah, you mix in the height they have with what we've seen from Barclay and Palmer. Obviously, Johnson not here, but then you factor in a nice little point guard there as well in Mesa. Or excuse me, not Mesa. Mulford. Mulford. He's walking into a pretty good situation at Harriman. Yeah, and Doug's a pretty good coach. Yeah. I think back to those years of Rawson and Andrus, and he had Spencer Johnson and Bailey, Brendan Bailey. 
And there's a turnover into the hands of Riser. Isaiah in the lane. Oh, ball kind of stuck to his hand, throws it away. And the ball will go back to the Volcanoes. That's a crafty pass, but that's a tough pass to. If, unless you've played with Riser, that's a tough pass to know he's going to be able to get that away, right? And that's where these types of uh, showcases, for lack of a better term, can be a little disserving to a player. Sure. You know, Copper Hill's teammate knows be looking for that basketball, but if you haven't played with Isaiah, you don't realize the skill he has. And Bay knocks down the three. He's starting to settle in. That first shot for Isaiah Bay was a touch off, but got the lay-in now and outside. He's starting to find his rhythm here in this first half. Inside of 10 minutes left in this first half is Riser sends that one over to Spencer. Malachi, a little pull up along the baseline, and it is good. That's a nice look there. We didn't get to see him last week, but uh, Malachi, he, he was here, here was he? Uh -huh. Oh, I don't, I don't remember seeing him. It was a good looking Jay. It was game one. Okay, all right, all right. Riser, oh, nice Euro and finish. Come back quickly the other way and missed it. Little That's why you're a big man who can run, huh? McConkey getting back. Yeah, Bowden couldn't get that one to go. Riser leaves it for Spencer. Malachi for three and was short. And the rebound in hands of Bay. Along the baseline, try to send that one out. It's to Ike Palmer, rattles out. And Spencer Kranich brings that one up. And inside of McConkey and McConkey just showing the fundamentals. You think about where Highland is in 5A, who's going to deal with him in that region? It's <laughs> a great question. Can have a big year. Yeah. And there's another missed three. Come back quickly. Luke West. And that's the young man out of Bingham. And Luke West had an outstanding year last year. Got hurt going into the playoffs. No, no, no. He did play in the playoff game. He was one of their best players he last was. year as a freshman. And we've seen some freshmen well, will be sophomores or are sophomores this year. They've been really impressive. Luke West in on that list. I thought we were going to have the stoppage. We did not. It was just the substitution is the rub dunk goes in for Owen Bowden. And again, a 10-point game, 28-18. As our beloved Preston just messed up the clock again. But... Uh, he thought it was stopping, and Preston didn't hit the go button. Oh, what a block. Great close there by Palmer. West drops it into McConkey. And the three back rim, the rebound in the hands of the Volcanoes. Here comes Drisdom. Drisdom pushes it up, sends it out. And the three from Palmer is short. Gets his own rebound, sends it down. And the reverse would not fall for Ike Palmer. A great seal by West on that drive, took it away, forced the ball back out, and then able to crash the boards to get the rebound. And on the other end, Luke <laughs> West going it on, well, showing a little skills on both ends. That was pretty. Hangs and hits. And all the foul down here is our clock will get resynced up at 7.05. Getting the clock on your screen is unofficial. That's what happens when two Rams butt heads. Uh, you get a foul, of course. You can I, see that in practice, but not. I expected a better sound, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen I, it in I, I, think, I think the whistle probably drowned out the, the mm. sound you were looking for. I have not ever seen it in person. It is awesome. Is it? San Rafael Swell. Oh, yeah. I don't know what ATV that is. Trip. Oh, okay. ATV trip down in Emory County. Oh, yeah. You know, Dusty had to say five nice things about Emory a couple weeks ago. Did not that throw was that not in one there. Of them. No, but Cleveland Reservoir was, and so was Joe's Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Fisher <laughs> gets that one to go. And my grandma's brick at the Spartan Arena. Look, at he's doing it again. It's unprovoked. I know. His heart is softening. I can't help but mention Grandma Coletti. His uh, little left-handed jumper goes for Sam Lind, and he had a good week one. Yeah, he did. I feel like we got to watch Sam Lind grow up. I think this is his third year at the top 50. And, and how about a new coach up at Wasatch as well? Mm -hmm. um, got a familiar friend taking over the reins up at uh, up at Old Heber. You're going to have to remind me. Santiago, right? No. No, it's uh, Coach McClure. Yeah. 
I forgot about that. Yeah. I was trying to remember everybody. So much movement. And it feels like forever ago because Gus sticks to my head. Yeah. There's that one tipped away, now in the hands of Riser. Riser on the drive and the hang. No, good defense there from Lynn. Didn't get yeah. the whistle. If we're in the regular season, you might get oh, that pretty, foul, but yeah. not in the top 50. Braden Larson. That was a quick move to the hole for the Farmington Phoenix. Zach Fisher comes off the screen of McConkey, short on the triple. McConkey with the rebound. Will fall away, goes home. I tell you what, as frustrated as he was about week one, his week two first half has been outstanding. Yeah, I mean, this has been, um, I don't want to say a statement, but a bit of a statement. I mean, he's done everything you could ask for offensively. Even when they brought the double team, he's kicking that ball out. He's played a really impressive half. Mm -hmm. Nice take and make there by Larson. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. Is the three from West won't go. McConkey lost the rebound. Luke West on the move. Got the bucket. Missed it on the rebound. And then Guess the who? little stat stuffer there for McConkey. I got him unofficially with 10 points. As the three <sighs> is good for Sam Lind. I didn't love that shot from Lind. I thought maybe a little force, but able to hit it. I totally forgot that Troy McClure is now at, uh, at West or Wasatch. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> I had to do okay, it. Okay, all right, all right. You I, might remember I, I me it. from I such coaching it. jobs. I as. love it. But I was like, I, I, I don't want to upset Dan. Dan's been a good friend, a long friend. But uh, Troy McClure, that's gold. That is gold. <laughs> that is what we're going to mention every time we talk about Wasatch. I'm in. And Coach McClure. You might, remember, you might remember him from last week's game against. You might remember him from. Previous jobs such as Green Canyon, <laughs> Roy High School. <laughs> uh, Sam Lind off the side. I knew you'd like that one. Yeah. That, if you can't tell, I've cracked myself up. That was a great call. Back rimmed on that shot. Now the and one here for, that was Larson. How about the back end of this first half for Larson? I think this got to like a 10 point difference and been a nice surge here by the Volcanoes trying to hang around. Oh, Four-point game. Sua with the blow by. Left hand left it short. On the run now with Drisdom. Drisdom down the lane. Oh, turns it over as Fisher comes away with it. Yeah, found himself in a really tough spot trying to cut the teeth of a triple team in the paint. Not a lot he could do there. Hung on a pivot and the, uh, the little break did not cool off Rogan Miles. We might have to get down to a Spanish Fort. They're going to play game. Team View this year. Yeah. Oh, oh, blocked from behind there by Fisher. Sticking with it and getting in the bucket there is Kel Barclay. And Sua. Nice hands. Larson. Getting it done on the defense band. And now will be backcourt. So good defense there from the Volcanoes. Yeah. Good chance to make it a one-possession game. Yeah, they continue to put the pressure on, try to close this gap. Doing a nice job. Drisdom sends over to Rosevere. Rosevere is not afraid of the situation. Hits his first three of the day, and it's a one-point game. Coach Miller smiling. He loves that three ball at Cottonwood. Yeah, he better get used to shooting with the wall right behind the backboard. That's Loose right. ball. Sua gives that one up. Send it back in the corner. Simon Sua short on the three. Oh, how about the hustle off the back of the iron? And it was Spencer Kranich, young man out of Mountain Ridge. Hustle's right. Wouldn't give up on the play. Oh, nice take and make by Drisdom. Back to a one-point game. Long three from Miles short. And the rebound in the hands of Larson. Chance for the Volcanoes to take a lead. Left that one wide to the left. And the ball will go back to the Furies. We're inside of a minute left in the first half. So 
So Lind will come off the floor as I believe this is the young man out of Hunter. Yeah, Dominic. Dominic Fonalath. Riser on the drive. Dominic right there with him. Look at that defensive agility. Nice hands there from Rosebeer, but able to get it back is are the Fury. Send it back out to Simon. Pardon Miles. Brogan Miles. Miles sends that ball in the corner. Zach Fisher short on the triple. And the rebound and run out from Braden Larson. Chance for Volcanoes to take the lead, and they do. Dominic Fonalith with the layup. And a one-point lead, and they were trailing by double digits. And Miles fouled, and the shot wouldn't drop, so he'll get one free throw for two points. Boy, the Volcanoes spewing points to close out this half. <laughs> Been an impressive they're finish as, here. They're as hot as liquid hot magma to close out the half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the free throw is good, but it will be a one-point lead for the Fury. But it was the Volcanoes or the Fury at the end of the half. And it's 42-41. You're watching game one of our double, our triple header, rather, here at the Utah Top 50. We'll be right back. Start of the second half, Dusty Lister and Dane Stewart with you. And, Dane, that was a, a fun first half between these two teams. Yeah, it was. I mean, never would have guessed you had a double-digit difference. It will get 83 points on the board in 20 minutes. That's what you love about the top 50. This is the final score in some high school games. Right. Well, didn't get it a lot with the shot clock so much. As Zach Fisher brought it up. But someone that was a proponent but then also said that it would be lower scores. I don't know. He never came back to me with any uh, math. It came back to me. He was right. It was lower? Yeah. Well, it had better flow. <laughs> and that's what... <laughs> Brogan Miles, man, this kid. Another three for Brogan Miles. I bet it's five threes. He's been dialed in. And we talked about his impressive week one. That's continuing here. He's making a great case for an MVP candidate here in the top 50. Oh, and Bowden is fouled. Going to put him at the line one for two. Brogan Miles is going to be a senior. Yeah. This is his senior year. Got a guest commentator. <laughs> yes, we do. She's playing uh, hide and seek for mom and dad. She's winning right now. She is winning. <laughs> I don't think they have any idea where she is. <laughs> so I've got 47 41. The scoreboard inside has got it at now 47 41. So I now have it at 49 41. I'll change it to the one on the inside as Riser comes away with a loose ball. And now she's got a long walk to find dad. As Riser misses that one, tracked down by McConkey, sends it out to Fisher for three. I haven't called Zach's name a ton. I think he just had a pair of points in that first half, but you see him hit that three, give himself a clap. As he's getting locked in offensively again. Somebody's got to see the ball go through the hoop. Oh, Fisher can get called for the foul. That was an aggressive dribble there from Ike Palmer. So Malachi Spencer will come on along with Luke West. I almost want to call him Adam West. That's going to take me a long <laughs> to not do that. <laughs> da -na 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 -na, Batman. Ball the corner bay. Can't get it to go. And it, West had it for a moment off the leg of Palmer. Yeah, and we'll go down the floor with the Fury. That's a great scrappy play there by Luke. I don't know that he's really in position to get that cleanly, but just kind of does enough to muddy it up and get that to go out off of the opponent. He'll get the basketball. If, couldn't get that one to go. McConkey with another board and bucket. I do believe I just saw Jackson Johnson walk in the building. I think he's in it. He's in it, but I didn't know, you know, Brody's not going to be available till later on. So it'll be fun to see Jackson. Yeah. Because I know he's coming, but I didn't know if his schedule allowed it. 
Yeah, he's he's on the Alley Cats, who are due up for our middle game tonight. So uh, we hear so often that our youth are so overly scheduled. Just didn't know. In fairness, he's on official trips, and you know, yeah, everything else can be tough to fit in. But it's fun when the one of the best players in the state is going to come play in the top 50. Is yeah. Malachi skies for that board and gets the layup. You could probably argue, argue the highest profile player in the seniors senior class. Yeah, either he or Brody. And I think because he's got an SC offer. So is Brody. Brody does? Brody's okay. Final Four. I, I wasn't is, aware of yeah, Brody's, Brody's Final Four is USC, Stanford, BYU, and Utah. Okay. Okay. I think that decision is coming up pretty soon, too. Okay. I mean, I'm surprised Idaho isn't on that list, but we can talk to Brody about that. <laughs> Beautiful Brody, new facility in. up there. Brody just text me. Call in and we'll we'll do the interviews. That shot drops <laughs> for uh, Drisdom. Sua sends that in McConkey. Rosebeer nearly got the Jordan on Malone steal as that layup goes by the wayside there for Brogan Miles. Drisdom on the run. Sends it back out to Bay. Got it back up top. Drisdom for three. Couldn't get it to go over his teammate, McConkey. Now on the run with Miles. Miles gives it up to Spencer. Oh, man. Some contact with play. in there. Now on the run with Ike Palmer. He can't get it. Sue with the board. We're going to need now. some Gatorade when this play's done. <laughs> A nice reverse layup there for... Yeah, it was Spencer. Malachi Spencer. Time for some electrolytes. I'm seeing if they're stopping the clock. But they're not. So we're just going to roll right through with just a little. Huh. I thought players were heading to benches, so. Yeah. We'll wait and see when our in-house starts the clock. So we've got some substitutions in. We had a little bit of frenetic pace there. Is oh nice pass blocked from behind by Spencer. And what nice a save. Impressive last two minutes from Malachi. Yeah. Spencer Kranich sends that one back to Simon Sua. Simon straight away three. Got it. No two. Give it a two. Just a long deuce. Lind sends that to Larson, who had a Terrific first half. Back to a double-digit lead here. I remember the Volcanoes cut it. Well, actually took the lead took the for lead, a moment. Yeah. After trailing double digits. Rosevere short on the three. Ball goes off the hand of Kill Barclay, and it'll go back to the Fury. Next game is? We got the Rockford Lightning and the Indiana Alley Cats. It sounds like a 1960s rock and roll show. <laughs> it's the Alley Cats is what yeah. does it. Right? I just think of the movie, you know, that thing you do. We got John D. and the Walkers. <laughs> we got the Hollyhocks. We got the Vicksburg in Pittsburgh. And the O'Neaters. <laughs> and the O'Neaters. <laughs> Said that one in to kill Barclay. And Barclay with the easy layup. <laughs> Kevin Pollock, man, that guy's a treasure. Sends that one out to Miles. Off on the three. Sua saves it. Right into the hands of Larson. And this was how they kind of came back originally was getting some oh. speed up and down the floor, defensive stops. Couldn't capitalize there. Corner three did not drop for Drisdom. And quickly back the other way. And West stops and pops. And it's a 13 point lead. Mentioned Luke West, a uh, class of 2026. He, uh, he and Riser are both class of 2026 on that Fury roster. On the other <laughs> roster, you have Isaiah Drisdom and Isaiah Bay. I'm talking about a lot of youth in this top 50. We've got good years of basketball ahead of us. Back this way, and it's the layup for Zach Fisher. As Rosebeer pulls for three and hits his second. It's a quick trigger there. 
Riser trying to close it out. Rosary able to shoot up and over. Let's say we got more Isaiahs in this game than the Bible does. Yeah, we do have quite a few. And <laughs> attack Fisher. That still, three that fell for Fisher kind of got him moving. Yeah, still some complication to their game, but not nearly the complication that you'll find in <laughs> other texts. <laughs> yep. Chapter 29 is a good one. <laughs> Drizzen foul, going to put him at the line. One for two. We will shoot uh, two free throws underneath two minutes. As a free throw, good. 64-52. They did that in year one. Last year we didn't do it. I think we kind of all saw that, hey, let's just go ahead and go back to it. It's kind of nice. If the tournament can do it, why not us? Malachi Spence. Spencer, that could have been a carry. Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised there wasn't a call there. Everyone have out of bounds. Fresh legs coming in here. See if that can maybe help the Volcanoes here dial back in this one. If my eyes don't deceive me. I believe that's... Uh, we know that assistant coach across the way. Is that... Shock was off the hands of Oh my heavens. Dominic Funnel up. But uh give me a second. It's a younger brother that played at Alta. Namdar? Yeah. It looks like Sammy Namdar across the way. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like him. As inside McConkey. Why not? With another huh? layup. Continues with his fantastic night. Put that ball inside. Oh, got him off his feet. And they're back, or the put back there for Dominic Bonnell of his fourth point of the night. Back to single digits. Adam West. I <laughs> did it. West sends it out. The three from Fisher does not go. And then Luke West with the steal. Adam had a short-lived time on the floor, but Luke with the steal and foul. There's no Namdar on the staff okay. at uh, Salt Lake Community Just College. Just looks like him. Yeah. Math is hard. You know, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> First of all, uh, Preston wasn't any help on our research, so I'm having to look at research and do math. Cut well, a guy a break. Besides, I'm sure they're hiding points somewhere. So, <laughs> Fisher bringing it up as it's uh, it's to ten here. Fisher couldn't get that to go. Batted around. McConkey gets that one up. Oh, missing the dunk. I don't know how he stayed in. With Spencer Kranich. He lawyered his way along the baseline. I think... I mean, this is going to become a thing. We'll make sure to see if he gets adjusted, but as that shot doesn't go, rebound to riser. It should at least be 68-56, I believe. They didn't put the last free throw points on. As the three from the corner from West doesn't go, rebound the hands of Dominic. It's a nice tap out getting that pass McConkey into some space where he can possess it. Palmer, 4-3. And just for everyone who's around my vicinity, it's single digits. <laughs> Just verified that. Yeah, hey, we're, we're one for two. And, and even with the two points, I think, that should be on the board, it'd still be single digits. Look at you. Oh, they just cut it back. We're, we just keep jinxing the score. They must have ruled that a two. And now, again, I'm on, this isn't being critical, but I think there's four points that the Fury have not been <laughs> awarded on the scoreboard. And by gum, Dusty wants the, oh, I want my saying. two dollars. <laughs> 
Are you making fun of my automobile? Bukaki <laughs> <laughs> can't get that one on the run. Dominic and a double dribble. Uh, caught up a little bit of the defense there and turns it over. Yeah, it would have been a over the backboard anyway. So, Of course, that just won't hurt shooting percentages because the stoppage before. Mm -hmm. It's a win for everybody. <laughs> Oh. A win, win, win. Pull up inside the arc. Back rim. It was a good looking shot. Couldn't get it to go. On the run out. Trism inside the Dominic. And that's now six points for the young man out of Hunter High School. Tell you, no give up. A couple times having to come back from double digits tonight. And they cut the deficit in half. A good push. Down the lane and took a little bit of a bump. A nice finish for Spencer Kranich. Yeah. And now, oh, West had a steal momentarily. Float it up and roll it home. Well, that's a tough pass for Palmer to feed that through. And oh, pardon me, that was Bowden. Bowden. Yeah, Bowden was the one who was able to get the finish, but I couldn't believe Palmer got that to him. Fisher, oh, beautiful. Gets that one to drop. I don't remember a lot of runners like that from Zach last yeah. year. Be a nice addition for that Davis offense. I'm sure Chad's watching. Look at the skill set, Chad. Tristam rolls that one in. How about we had a Bowden score a touchdown on Sunday in the NFL? Immediately said, we got a kid in Utah, the last name. I never I hadn't seen that last name. Now I've seen Bowden, but B A W D E D E N. D E D E D E N. D E N. <laughs> I'm spelling like my five year old over here. Bowden. <laughs> A new letter, Den. As <laughs> <laughs> Drisdom can't get that one to go, the rebound to West quickly ahead. Kranich, Euro. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez. As Drisdom goes back the other way and lays it in. Down to four. Luke West fouled. And we get a whistle on this one and put West at the line. Again, game two coming up next. The Alley Cats versus, I want to say Rockford Peaches, but I know that's wrong. <laughs> the Lightning. The Rockford, Rockford Lightning. Lightning. Yeah. When I think of Indiana, I think of Lightning. When I think of Lightning, I think of Tampa Bay. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Because we all know Dusty's a big hockey okay. guy. Big hockey guy. Huge. Palmer. There we go. And that one comes off. On the run with Fisher. Sends that ball to the corner. Three ball on the way. No, Malachi oh, Spencer backside board. Usually those three point shots have a long rebound, but that one dropped right to where Malachi was, able to get a nice finish. Oh, tough miss. Rebounds on both ends for Spencer. Yeah, he skied up there for that one. Got the hops of like Jacoby Kemp. Remember how high Jacoby Kemp would get for yeah. Layton? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerese used to get all the flash, but I mean, Jacoby could feel like his elbow was going to hit the rim. <laughs> Kemp was more of a player around the rim. Jerese was yeah. really occupying the whole floor, but uh, they were two of the more athletic finishers that we've seen outside of Kearns in a long time. Um, well, how about you have. I mean, we have a lot of players in the NFL, but yeah, two Leighton Lancers that are in the NFL. Yeah. Because I don't know if all oh, beautiful drive. Is Kemp still in the NFL? He was on the Super Bowl team last year. Yeah, I, did, I, I don't recall. I needed to double check. Okay, okay. But uh, Julian, hopefully he's, he's going to stay healthy playing for the Colts. Send that one out to Riser. No. And now in the hands of the Volcanoes, a chance to make it a one-score game. Roseberry short on the three, gets it back. Rose goes high, low, and easy two for Barclay. And it's a four-point game. Boy, so often you want to atone for that miss, and you take that shot in the paint. But that's heady play by Rose Rear, seeing his big man underneath for the easier finish. Oh, Sua, he dribbled right to a spot you normally like to dribble to, but it just opened up for him. Lays that one in. Come back the other way. Drisdom 
gets his own board and lay in. Boy, Sua had the initial stop there. Got a nice deflection on the go up, but Drisdom able to hang with it. Well, they ran into their own guys. Yeah, Drisdom a little slow to get up. Yeah, he took a, he's got a lamer. Took a knee to the side of the leg there. It'll be inbound along the far side. I believe it's two fouls inside of two minutes. Now they started the clock a little quick here on Preston. It's not on him. Come back the other way, Riser. Tends it up top, Rogan Miles. Oh, nice job by Rosemere. The right to the hands, Malachi Spencer sends out Isaiah Riser. No, and the rebound to Lynn. Yeah, no one around to crash the glass there. So we'll get our clock synced up here momentarily. Is that three does not go for Rosebeer. Into the hands of Drisdom. Sends it out to Lind. Lind spins down the lane and lays it in. Wow. Two point game. What a job by Lind. And now we'll have a foul. But we got 33 seconds. We'll match it. So at the line, Isaiah Riser. Short on the free throw and now a chance to tie or take the lead for the Volcanoes. Stop it here as we get, yeah, 27 on the clock here. So I'll sink it at If they want to get nitpicky, it should be at 30. That's okay. <laughs> chance to win it here. A chance to tie or win it with the three. Drizz him out there with Fisher. An interesting matchup. Still had a foul to give. Good one to give up there by Fisher. Oh, clock down to 12 seconds. Quickly into Rosevere, back out. Here's Lynn with eight. Sam Lynn goes at Malachi Spencer, sends it to the corner. Drizden for the win and got it. Trailed all game long, had one moment where they led. And Isaiah Drizden gives the Volcanoes a 77 76 win. Wow, what a play. Drizden had a couple looks from three in the final minutes, didn't take him when that ball got to him. I was curious how he was going to step up in the moment. He drills it. What a shot from Isaiah Drisdom. Uh, outstanding. Well, fun one in our first game of the triple header. Dan, your selection of a top 50 player of the game. Yeah, I'm going to go with Isaiah. He had a game winner like that. I thought he uh, ran the ball very well, ran the offense well up and down the floor. Of course, you had a game winner. Stamp it. Isaiah Drisdom, congratulations. Again, our final score, the Volcanoes 77 and the Fury 76 on the game winner at the horn for Drisdom, Isaiah Drisdom, the 2026 class of 2026 member of the Highland High School basketball team, but a big one tonight to get us kicked off on our triple header. Game two coming up next, but for Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us and for watching KSL Sports Rewind's coverage of the Utah Top 50 on KSLSports.com.